Hello everyone, thank you again so much for tuning back in. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Hannah. I'm an interior designer based in Manila and welcome to another video. I will be taking you guys along with me through the design process, construction hoo-hahs, and all the ideas and concepts behind Hiraya's Haven. Just to keep you guys on the loop, um, Hiraya's Haven is our family rental business. It's pretty new, so we're still trying to figure things out and we're still setting a lot of things, especially your social media. So I will be updating you guys. I will just post social media accounts here. So feel free to follow us for all of the updates. I appreciate all the support. Just to give you like a brief background of what our villa looks like, we have three bedrooms in our villa. We have two bedrooms of the same size. So this is perfect for two to four packs. This bedroom specifically, this is bedroom three, which is Bughao. We have a queen size bed here. And then for the green room, which is room number two, we initially planned on making it two single beds, but we realized that it's not really the most efficient or it just looks a little bit cramped in actual. So we decided that we'll just have like the same layout as the blue bedroom. And then for the third bedroom, we did a little bit of modifications to the architectural windows so we can accommodate a better layout for the double bed bunk beds and to maximize the capacity of the space without making it feel all over the place. Okay y'all, so first things first, client request. My client, aka my mom, specifically requested to keep the ceiling looking high as much as possible, just to keep the space looking and feeling bright and airy. So what we did is we decided to keep the ceiling slab height. And then we also added in this accent wall to add to that grandeur high ceiling feeling. Music pricing board here, painted it in blue in vertical ship lap pattern just for that modern farmhouse touch. Added in some wall scones here to serve as a reading lamp. And also the switch is conveniently located here next to the bed. And this scones is actually tricolor which is actually not a part of our plan but it's a nice touch no we also opted in to have our bed frames custom made for all of the bedrooms we have them holstered in a leatherette and then we also have our mattress with a leatherette cover which is a nice touch done by my tita so it just makes things easier for us to maintain this especially if there's like um accidental spills in the mattress so it's not much of a hassle for us to clean it up and of course we have our mini lounge area we have this a small sort of laptop table for anyone who just needs to do a little bit of quick work. We're also planning to put in some fake plants. We, I was thinking of putting like a large fake plant up behind here and probably a small area rug. But let me know what you think. I 
I also added in a lot of outlets throughout the space because I do have this mindset that in residential design, having a lot of outlets spread throughout the room it just makes things more convenient and more flexible for you whenever you decide to rearrange your space. And then we also have our walk-in closet here. So we are actually keeping our utility rack here. Our utility rack is basically going to be our convenience, mini, mini convenience store for each room. So we're just going to fill it with some necessities, some coffee, tea, and um, a hot kettle. One of the things that I personally love about this walk-in closet location is that you can keep your luggages here and it's not going to be the first thing that you'll see whenever you enter. And I personally went to go for an open walk-in closet here. Mixed with closed storage just for additional privacy too. There's this sort of convenience that adds to it when you just put things out of your luggage and just put it here. Let's talk about everyone's favorite spot in this bedroom. Or personally my favorite. The bathroom. Okay, we have our own toilet drainage here just to keep things seamless and looking clean as much as possible, accented with this blue machuca tiles. And one of the personal things that I love about this rain shower set is that the flow of the water is just pretty much straight. So it's not really messy to use to this shower area. We added in this LED vanity mirror for all of the bathrooms because it's a nice touch to it and it's just easier for you to do makeup. For some people, it's easier for them to take a selfie here. It just adds an luxurious touch and there's a nice ambient lighting here when you shower. For a lot of people, they feel that this bedroom is slightly larger than the blue bedroom even though they are in the same size. So the difference is since the bed rests against this whole wall of vertical shiplap wall which is pretty much the same as the blue bedroom, this feels more larger compared to the blue bedroom which is resting on the wall where there is an entry to the walk-in closet. So we pretty much have the same thing. We have the queen size bed here and also the vertical shiplap wall in Fison. So a little bit of a backstory for our curved ceiling. There's like an invisible step here. I will show you like a photo here. That was like, okay, try to think of how we can conceal that without making too much of um, a drop ceiling. And I was like, okay, let's create a drop ceiling with a curved ceiling here. And then let's just add some ambient lighting because it's cute. It just makes the room feel more soft and it still feels pretty large. The advantage of this is that it's also easier for us to maintain or to replace just in case when we need to because it's pretty much straightforward to pull it out. Of course, last but not the least, this is the bunk bedroom or aka Purao. The white bedroom, this is personally our family's favorite mainly because we have lots of bed storage here. For the bed frame, we use steel framing here which is recommended by my tita who also made our custom made furniture by the way. We opted to use this just uh, for the added durability and also because if there are kids planning to stay here at least it'll be strong enough to support them. And of course for the bed we have our ambient lighting here. I opted to use indirect lighting because though I'm not really a big fan of using wall scones for bunk beds because it's just it's, it's just all over the place for me. So I added in some indirect lighting here just to keep things much more friendlier to your eyes. And also, of course, some outlets so you can charge your phones in peace. And of course, we also have our day bed here, which is also custom made. So just for added seating here, and you can actually sleep here a bit because you can remove 
the padding here and just rearrange stuff. And this is our old sofa. We had this refurbished so we can reuse this here. We just had all of our um, upholstery in leatherette, you know, just to keep things um, maintenance friendly. This is our bathroom for the bunk bed, so this is much more light, so it just makes this bathroom feel a little larger. Let me know which bathroom is your favorite, so let me know in the comments. And there you go guys, we have our room to here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the kitchen tour. Thanks for tuning in, see you! Even if your eyes aren't shining, you've still got my heart. Maybe it doesn't have to be so bad. As long as we got each other, there's still.